This uh, this uh, guy said a hundred dollars. What the fuck? We can hear you, Ari. For hello, everyone. Everybody, do you hear me? Yes. Hi, Professor. Yup. Yes. Good. Today, we are going to review for the exam. And I hope everybody has the, the uh, you, you got the, uh, uh, the uh, review sheet, right? That I test yes. yes, okay. So what we're going to do, it's going to do the story guide. And the next time that we meet, that is uh, Monday, we have the exam. Is that clear for everyone? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yes, Professor, I have a question. Is the yes. exam going to be multiple choice, short answer, or like how's it going to be set up? Both are going to be are going to be three things: uh, multiple choice, uh, true false, and uh, two short answer questions. Okay, and is it going to be on Blackboard? And do we have to um? come to the Zoom meeting and take the test at the same time? Uh, I think I sent you uh, the, uh, the, the, an email, the email. Uh, I sent you. Yes, yes, you did, Professor. Yes, you did. It is? Yes, you sent it. Okay, I, I, I send it. Uh, what we are going, let's go uh, over it. What we are going to do, you are going to, well, the, 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 the exam is on uh, Monday. You are going to have this uh, uh, week, uh, almost uh, five, six, uh, days to study and you are going to, to and this is how we're going to, to proceed. Uh, the exam, uh, I'm going to uh, open up the, uh, open up the, the submitting some meeting uh, uh, for you to submit the exam uh, four hours okay. you're gonna last four hours and you have to finish uh, at once you have to finish uh, the whole thing because after the, the four hours, it's not going to function. And I'm going to give you the choice of at what time you want to take the exam. It's going to, that, that the, 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 the at what time it's going to be from 9 a.m. to uh, 11 p.m. at night, right? You have, uh, you, can, you can, whatever is better for you, but regardless of, of, the, of what time you start the exam, you are going to, you have to finish it. The, uh, in, in that one attempt. Hold on. Uh, once you are uh, done the exam, you submit it. 
and uh, I'm going to, to create a link for that, for the submission. And uh, what else? That's, that's, that's all. I'm going to be uh, available for at least two hours in, in turn something happened to you and you need uh, to write a question, et cetera, et cetera. Professor? That, yes. Um, where did you send the, um, the view questions? Um, I only have the documents you sent out on February 26th, which was the past homework questions. Are those the review questions? Um, that's the last email I got from you other than the other email for class canceling. Yeah, I send it by email and I posted a blackboard. Um, okay. okay. So Is the last one I have was the questions from the Jose Hernandez, which was the homework that we did in the past. I just noticed you sent that again in the February 26th email, plus the new questions. Well, you're talking about the, the exam or you, the, the, the study guide, or you're talking about the uh, beginning? Yeah, the, the study guide, like the review questions for the um, exam, yeah. Did you send those yet or no? No, it, it's covered everything. The oh, everything. Book. Okay. On Blackboard. If you just go on Blackboard, it, it it's it's there. Okay. Wait, it's, okay. it's covered. It's covered uh, everything. I mean, I made the uh, the uh, when I wrote the the, yeah. the story guy, I took into consideration the ones that we we uh, we are going to to uh, to do the, uh, yeah. the last time we we met. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Are there any other questions about the extra? Okay. Uh, professor. Yes. Um, no, I just had a quick question. So, um, like, once we finish the exam, let's say if you want to check our work, can we backtrack? Like, go back? Uh, no. Unless you call me. In, 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 if, I mean, you cannot, if you have, you have the, the uh, four hours. If you finish, usually, usually uh, the student finish this exam in less than, than, than two hours. Most of them less than an hour and a half. But, if you, uh, you, you're you gonna have four hours. If you uh, finish the exam and you have to finish and you, you, you check your, you're going to have access to the, uh, to the exam. If you have not passed the four uh, hours, after the four hours, you know, in another word, after the four hours, you, you're not going to have access to it. Okay, okay, thank you. Okay. Uh, professor? Yes. Are we going, um, are all the questions, um, what's the composition of the questions? Are they going to be multiple choice or, or short answer or both? Yes, it's, it's, it's uh, um, multiple choice about probably 25, 30 quest questions. They're all multiple choice? Uh, multiple choice, yes. And the I second see. is the uh, true-false. Uh, probably uh, 20, uh, 20 uh, questions. Uh, true, false, and short answer. Uh, each 
should ask a question. It's going to be 5.7. Thank you. Carbon? Two. As soon as you answer the question, it's in half. So, no, as long as you are asking me. Uh, Professor, I have a question. Uh, this is Samuel. So, our, let's just say I want to answer the short... If I want to answer the short answer questions first, am I allowed to do that and then go back to the multiple choice? Okay, yeah, that was, I'm, I'm sorry, that was the question about backtracking. Uh, okay, I just wanted to make sure that we could, that we could do that. Okay, thank you. Human essential component to say, say, humans and their essential component abilities. What's the damage? Who wants to ask that? Uh, I could do it. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this is Benjamin Burgos. And what I said is that um, every human's innate ability is to be creative and to manipulate the environment around them in order for them to survive and just live the best possible lives they could. Okay. What's your name again? Uh, Benjamin Burgos. Benjamin. Okay. Who else? Uh, professor, yeah, so I, I said pretty much the same thing. Like, I remember talking about this in lecture one, how in the words of uh, Hernandez, he said that humans are, um, they have a lot of creativity. They transform matter to survive. Okay. Good. Who else? Anybody else? Um, professor, I, my name is Kira. Um, yeah, I, I agree with what everyone said. Um, they create life, they create um, objects to create, you know, better living environments and to um, ensure their survival and um, quality of life. Okay. okay. Anybody else? Hello? Yes. Hello? Uh, Professor, would you mind repeating the question if that would be okay? Yes, you don't have the uh, you, you don't have the study guide. Oh, sorry, I was looking at um the worksheet. Sorry. Oh, okay, okay, but well, you have it. You, you. Yes, I, I have the study guide. Yeah, yeah, because you have to study. Yeah, in the, in the few days. Yeah. Okay, the the. The question is humans and their essential component. What can we say about 
uh, humans and their essential component, uh, essential common abilities. Why can we say about that? Um, Professor, this is Bobby. So yeah. uh, Hernandez says that humans have the essential ability for artistic, intellectual, athletic, and emotional expressions. Uh, the ability to be creative is an essential human feature. Creation shows individuality. Okay. Good. Who else? Anybody else? Okay. Uh, number two. The origin of the Philippines where the, the, uh, the Philippines arrived to the, uh, to North America, to, to, to the Americas, or to, to that region. Professor? Yes. Hi, this is Stephanie. Um, can, can you speak a little? Laura, please. This is Stephanie. Okay. Uh, the earliest inhabitants of the Philippines were pygmy people from Africa, and they moved across the Middle East and Southern Asia. Okay. Um, yeah, uh, uh, Professor, this is Fozzie. So I'd like to just add on. So yeah, they went through um, Middle East and through uh, South Asia, and then they also uh, crossed the central land bridges to arrive at the Philippines. Okay. Who else? Um, Professor, may I take a shot at this? Yes, go ahead. Um, the earliest inhabitants of the Philippines were the Pygmy people from Africa and Southern Asia who went over a land bridge joining the peninsula with Borneo to the P Palawan land bridge, which eventually took them to the Philippines. Okay. Who else? Hello, anybody else? Okay, let me say something. The, uh, the first Filipinos, I said uh, and how they arrived to the America, but they did, it's not America, it's Woodward Pacific where they were. Uh, because what Hernandez is trying to say, how these people, where these people came, uh, in, in the, the, the Philippines, in the kingdom of the Philippines and others. Uh, so the, the, uh, uh, there were several groups. They were the, uh, the pygmy, pygmy, the, the, the African pygmy, pygmy. Uh, not, uh, we can pronounce that uh, correctly, the pygmy. Right, the pygmies, and they these people were uh, from Africa, and they uh, came uh, e and uh, arrived to what today is the Philippines. That was twenty five thousand or so. Uh, 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 years and later pe uh, people from the Malay Peninsula the, the, the Malay Peninsula is a peninsula in Southeast Asia primarily uh, made up of Bulma Laos, Cambodia Vietnam the, uh, part of China, the, 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 part of the, of the uh, China uh, South Sea. And, and these people, they sent to, uh, they migrate to what the Philippines is today in waves, waves 
of, 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 of migration. Uh, one of them uh, took place 15,000 years ago and other 50,000 years. Uh, in the last one, uh, the uh, Vietnam, uh, Taiwan, and others by boat arrived also to the, to the uh, Philippines. So we can say that most of the, of the people who contribute uh, to the what the uh, uh, in terms of ethnicity what what the Philippines is today, but also in terms in cultural terms, came from the Malay Peninsula from that area specifically. And the last was three thousand more than three thousand. Uh, uh, around 3,000 and, and, and a half and, and, and 500. 3,500, hold on a second, I have to admit. So, the, uh, uh, okay, let, let's move on. Is there someone who has something to add to that? Okay. Uh, the uh, number three, the origin of Native Americans. Where Native Americans, where they came from uh, to, to, to America, what, what were their origins? Of? Hello? Um. This yes. is Kira. I can uh, read what I have. Okay, go ahead. Um, so there's a couple theories, including like um, like an oral history one. So the first one is that um, there was so they migrated to the Americas using the Beringia Bridge, um, and then there's another theory about like um, Polynesian boat migration, and then the Native Americans have like their own theory about where they came from themselves. Um, that there was a woman in the sky world and she basically just like came to earth and like gave birth to the Native Americans. Yeah, great, good. Who else? Professor, can I go? Yes, Sabrina. Yeah, okay. um, yeah. Um, just to add on to that, I also said that it's possible that Native Americans descended from, or most of them descended from Asian migrants, such as in areas like Siberia. Who else? I, I can go, Professor. Okay, Dora, go ahead. Um, so I wrote that Native Americans may have um, various origins. There's evidence that suggests they migrated from Asia through the Beringa land bridge. Um, and it's also possible that Polynesians migrated through boat technology. Yes. Uh, who else? Hello. Okay, uh, let me say this. The most Native Americans the, uh, came through the Bering Strait, and that has been most. There are other, uh, as you said, other, uh, other opinions in research. But uh, we can say at least that most of them came from uh, through the uh, through the, the eastern uh, country east and through the uh, the uh, the Bering uh, 
that's uh, the most popular uh, opinion. Okay, is there anyone who wants to do something about, want to say something about that? Okay. Uh, let's move on. Number, uh, number four, the greater and lesser Antilles. What, what, what islands in other, uh, in other way? What, what islands make up the greater Antilles in, 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 in reference to the lesser Antilles? Okay, who wants to answer that? Um, the greater Antilles were a bunch of islands that range from the Yucatan through Cuba, Haiti, the Dominican Republic, Jamaica, and Puerto Rico. Okay, good. The lesser Antilles range from the Virgin Islands to Venezuela. Yes, and they are constituted the, the others. Right. That's good. Anybody else want to say something about this? Okay, let's move on. The origin of the Tainos, where Tainos came from? We talk, we talk about the Tainos, we're talking about the Tainos Indians, right? the, the natives. Where they came from? Anybody? Okay, the, the Tainos came from uh, South America. From South America, and they came in waves also. They came uh, from Brazil to, and they go, went through Venezuela and some people, some of them stay in, in Venezuela for years and years. And some, uh, when I say for years, for, for, for dozens of uh, years, uh, 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 many uh, hundreds of years. And they stay there, and then they, uh, some of them, uh, new, uh, the new waves will go and uh, stay uh, and, and arrive to, uh, uh, to the, this, uh, uh, the, the territory of the Caribbean, yeah. the, the, the Venezuela, as, as you know, have a, 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 a side to it, to towards the, the, uh, the uh, toward the Caribbean, right? So they, came uh, from Venezuela and from south, from Brazil, throughout the, the, the South America and to, in a right to Venezuela and from Venezuela to, to uh, the Caribbean. Is there anyone who wants to say something? Uh, add something. Okay. Let's move on. The Aztec and the Inca empires. The Aztec empire and the Inca empire. What can we say about that? Um, this is, oh, yes, go ahead. This is Fatsu. Um, I would like to say the Aztecs and the Incas were empires that were based in Mexico and Peru. These empires that acquired strong internal discipline and external military force. That's what I think. Yes. Yeah. Who else? Who can add something to that? Um, yeah, uh, Professor 
Fonzie. So uh, I said the Aztecs were lived from the 15th and 16th century. They had an empire that was from central to southern Mexico. Inca originated in Peru, and their empire was from uh, from modern day northern Ecuador to central Chile. Who else? Anybody else? Well, let me say something. The the Aztecs and the Incas, of course, as you said, were a great empire. The Aztec uh, elaborate uh, one of the most uh, accurate uh, one of the most accurate uh, accurate uh, uh, tools to to uh, know the 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 the, uh, the, the uh, to to get to know the 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 time uh, and keep. Uh, uh, track of, of, of that. Uh, they, as you said, someone said, they were uh, military to the extent that they were, the, the Spaniards were not match for them. They have to, what the Spaniards have to do in order to conquer the Aztec was to ally themselves in with other Indians, with other Indians that have uh, been enslaved by the the, the uh, Aztecs, or that have been uh, has some kind of contradictions with them, and the same thing happened with in, in Peru, the uh, with the. Uh, Inca empires so it was uh, very, very uh, uh, much the same thing that they did with the the uh, with the uh, Aztecs. They have they control uh, the control the the largest city at the time of the conquistador arrived to. to to uh, Mexico, to what is it, today Mexico, they uh, constructed Nochtitlan and they uh, was at that time the larger city and they built it in, in, on lake, on water. Uh, a city that, uh, on a daily basis, uh, have a, a lot of commerce and a lot of people uh, looking for for merchandise. So, is there anyone who want to say something else? Okay, let's. Uh, Move on. The uh, Hernandez and Wolf, Culture of War and Peace. Hernandez, type of political and economic rule that view the other as enemies. What type of political and economic rule is that view the other as enemies? Who wants to say something about that? Can I go? Yes, go ahead. Uh, this is Benjamin Burgos, and I said that that term is defined as um, aristocratic rule, which is encourages like the um, the idea of seeing each other as enemies, and it also functioned as a justification for killing other humans. Okay. Well, in this specific case, for the conquerors to kill um, the natives. Who else? Hello, who else? Who wants to add? 
or say something about. Okay, let's move on. Number two, a Spain empire as a model. In what way Spain was a model for other uh, European powers uh, like Great Britain in, 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 the, in, in the sense that uh, to construct the, uh, the, it, its empire. Who wants to say something about that? Hello. Um, I can I can add to that, Professor. Okay, go to, go to. Um, So I believe he um, proposes Spanish as a, a model of a culture of war, um, just because that's what was most prevalent, and that in it's almost like this intrinsic characteristic of humans to pursue conflict. Um, and reject ideas of peace. Okay. Who else? Anybody else? I could add on to that. Go ahead. Um, I said that the part of this, the Spanish's, um, or part of Spain's model, um, they were able to use colonization as a way of suppressing the sovereignty of conquered people. And with that, they were able to force millions of people to live at their command and work without compensation, compensation which would produce wealth for Spain. Um, also, along with that, they, they secured slavery by instituting serfdom laws, taxes, social rankings, and acculturation through their way of life. Okay. Very good. Yeah. The, the, uh, the encomienda system was, of course, part, as you mentioned, of that. Okay, let's, let's move on. Uh, the Muslim and the Dark Ages. What can we say about the Muslim during the Dark Ages? Hello? Who wants to answer that question? Hello? Uh, I, I can go, Professor. Okay, Dora. So during the, I mean, it wasn't really dark ages for the Muslim world. That's when they were thriving. Um, the establishment of Islam in 622, it inspired a new culture and high level of achievement. Um, it spread all over the Middle East, Southeastern Europe, North Africa, and Asia. Um, and it just featured advances in art, music, science, medicine, mathematics, in contrast the European civilization declined. Um, and that's why it's called the Dark Ages because it was dark for them, but not for the Muslim world. Okay, very good, that's excellent. Anybody else? Uh, professor? Yes, go ahead. Well, I was going to say that the Muslims fostered a society, a society where a lot of different groups were included like uh, for instance, Jews, and I, I imagine they were pretty accepting of Christians too. They also um, encouraged um, intellectual cultivation of intellect and uh, cultivation of culture. Like they were, they had algebra and they, they had algebra and I'm trying to think of other examples of, they had a very egalitarian society where openness of thought was encouraged. And uh, the Europeans, on the other hand, had a society where that was that didn't work as well, where the, the technology was close to non-existent. Uh, the machines were not nearly as advanced, but there was a lot more bitterness and discrimination and outright savagery. 
I don't know about outright, but people, they were trying to conquer the Muslims at several points, such in acts such as the Crusades, and also I believe their crops weren't as their crops underwent a period of which, I don't know quite how to phrase it. There was a period where their crops suffered. And they had several plagues due to their poor hygiene and things along those lines. Okay. Anybody else? Well, let me say something. The uh, to add uh, something. The Muslim during the Dark Ages, as you said, in comparison with the, uh, the, the Dark Ages where the, what follow uh, after the fall of the Roman Empire, right? the Roman Empire uh, were, the, were the symbol of the, uh, of the power of, of uh, Europeans. And when the, uh, the, uh, the, the, the empire f fell, they, they uh, split into, into different, uh, uh, different segments. They, uh, 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 they depart from one another. They, they were, uh, 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 the, the, the Italians were in Italians. Uh, they no longer were uh, part of a unity of the empire. The, uh, the same thing with the French, uh, the, the Portuguese, the, all, of the, all of them, they, they separate. That's the word, they separate. Uh, and, and that weakened them even more because the only institution that uh, could maintain certain uh, unity among, among the, uh, the, 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 the people who live on, under the, the empire. The only people who can, who can do that or maintain unity where was the, the uh, church. The, the Catholic Church and the uh, Catholic Church took uh, took uh, the the aim of of maintaining uh, uh, some unity uh, uh, religious and. and, and to some extent, a culture, culture. Uh, but it was very limited. It was very limited because they want the, uh, two, the, the, the Catholic Church historically have have two things against. One is that, that they were a, a, against. Uh, one is sex, right? still today, the, uh, the, the they cannot uh, they cannot uh, the, 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 the the priest in the, in that church cannot uh, have, um, uh, marry and still is the, those the same thing is there and the only and the other thing is knowledge knowledge. It's a, it's, a, it's a narrow, at that time, right? at that time, it was a very narrow thing. You, you, the other, the only people who, who has the right to knowledge to, 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 to wear the, uh, uh, the church. They say a, a very good uh, movie made in, in Hollywood uh, with Shane Connery. Uh, and it is about this 
you want to watch a, a good movie, how the, the, the Catholic Church maintained the dominion of, the, uh, of, the, of knowledge, and they don't allow to anyone uh, except a few people to uh, that knowledge. And, and that's the, uh, the, 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 uh, the, the, uh, black, the, the, uh, the, uh, the dark ages. That's what it means. It means dark in, in intellectually, uh, intel intellectually and, in, 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 in culturally, uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, th that the existence of, of of intellectual and cultural freedom and access. That is why the Renaissance, the Renaissance, uh, f followed that because people wanted to 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 participate. People have a, another vision of the world and. Of the, uh, and that opened up to the uh, to the more open economic system, et cetera, et cetera, later on. Okay. Is there anyone who wants to say something about that? Okay. Let's move on. Wolf, from Wolf, prelude to expansion, the unification of Castile and Aragon. How did the Castile, the, 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 the unification of Castile and Aragon that gave way to, 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 to the, to, uh, how is the uh, affect the, uh, the, 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 the process of the uh, uh, coming of Christopher Columbus to the so-called new world? Who wants to answer that? Hello? Okay, uh, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. So I was, I was just saying, um, so when, when these two um, countries united, the uh, nobles got very uh, even more powerful than they already were. And um, they wanted to um, acquire even more power. And so then they were able to finance the military expeditions uh, for the new world. Yes. Perfect. Anybody else? Okay, let's move on. The role of gold and silver. What was the role of gold and silver for the... Uh, uh, for the... The, the the conquest what in 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 the impact in the uh, uh, Spanish uh, uh, social and economic system who wants to answer that anybody okay let me say something about this the gold and silver were, uh, of course, uh, taken to Europe, and they, they, they were the most important source of wealth uh, at that point, at the point where the, uh, the, the, the 17, 17, uh, century, that, uh, that that was the, 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 the uh, gold was the uh, the symbol of of, of 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 wealth itself. It was it was a, a it's, it's, it was uh, considered to be uh, uh, needed. Uh, uh, to, to, to be the mean of acquiring power, economic power, 
political power, military power. So, in the case of, of uh, uh, Spain, the uh, uh, gold, the number of gold, the all the, the gold and, and, uh, and silver have a negative impact in the uh, uh, Spanish society. Was the cause, the, uh, the, the gold, and the amount of gold in the, 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 that possesses the Spain, Spain possess more than anybody else was uh, ironically, I mean, irony, bad for Spain. It was bad for Spain because it uh, was an obstacle. Spain bought everything that they need with gold and silver from other countries, from the city states of, of, of the Italian civil, civil uh, state, from uh, uh, the uh, other Europeans uh, uh, power. And this European power, Great Britain, for example, uh, the, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, I don't know exactly how you say in, this in English and Spanish, the, 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 the Países Bajos, right? the, those countries of, of, of Europe, or the, the regions of, of Europe. And they, the, the, low, the, the low countries, yes, it, it, it's, it's like that. And they, but they bought everything the Spaniards from them, and this that means that in the context of the development of capitalism, these people uh, 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 elaborate, uh, uh, increase their their uh, uh, products to 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 upset, to to send to. Spain, while Spain didn't uh, uh, depend on them, and then didn't uh, 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 didn't uh, create their own industrial sector, industrial sector to such extent that even in the 20th century, in the in the mid 20th century, Spain. Was considered to be one of the, uh, of the uh, less developed country in, 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 in Europe. Okay, so he has a a, 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 uh, a, a negative as a impact in in, the, uh, in Spain. Okay, the. Uh, Okay, Hernandez and Sin. Let's let's uh, speed up this thing. Hernandez and and Sin. Reason why a Spanish ethnic oppressed group participated in the event of in the uh, involvement of people in the New World and Empire building. Who who can say something about that? Hello. Professor? Yes, go ahead. Um, I would say that one of the reasons why the Spanish ethnic oppressed groups participated in the... I, I would say one of the reasons that slavery became a thing is that... I'm, I'm not sure I understand the question. Um, would you mind rephrasing it? Now that I hear the question okay. at the same time, I think it might not mean what I think it means. Okay. What, for what reason the Spanish ethnic oppressed groups, groups who were oppressed in Spain, 
like the vast, how this and others, but how, how, why these groups of people who were uh, oppressed, they went to oppress other uh, uh, people in, uh, with the Spaniards, right? I would say one of the reasons is they wanted a piece of land that they could call their own. They couldn't have that in their country of origin. And when they realized that they couldn't have it in another country, they thought, to heck with that, we're going to move in, we're going to take, take land, whether the inhabitants like it or not. And there's definitely, it will definitely lead to seeing the people who live there as subhuman, or as they put it, noble savages. Okay. Who else? It would incentivize it. Okay. Anybody else? I think um, I think that it probably had to do with the encomienda system that they had, that it kind of just translated, like it was just like an incentive to um, have slaves working for you just to generate more money and wealth. Yes. The, the, uh, the, the uh, yes, I agree with you, but there's another reason. And the other reason is that they, even though they have contradiction, antagonism uh, between with the, uh, the, the, the Spanish uh, the elite, right? They, uh, they have more uh, that, uh, 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 like religions, for example, and, and some cultural uh, expressions, they are more in, in con that is uh, uh, applied to, to uh, them, right? So something that, 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 that they have in, in common, right? they have in common more than that what they have in common with the uh, the natives in, in, in so and then those uh, those uh, thing that you say uh, the, is the answer right in, include the, uh, the the similarity between the, the, the groups in ma in many ways religious cultural and, and others okay who else let's move on the Number two, reason why Spain succeed the conquest of native. Why was Spain uh, able to conquer uh, uh, the uh, Indians? The... Um, Professor, may I take a go at that? Yes, go ahead. Well, for one thing, the Spanish had better weapons. They had better um, mobility. They were able to create great armadas of ships that could sail across the sea to attack natives with weapons that were far beyond their abilities. Also, they had the added advantage of being viewed by the, spe by the whatchamacallit, the, the natives as gods because of various uh, belief, because of their belief system set it up. I believe that Quetzalcoatl would be a, their eventual like messianic figure would be a white bearded man, and so it seemed like their own messiah had come. And when their messiah started attacking them, it caught them completely off guard. Um, also, I guess the 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 conquerors were more ruthless and more determined in their meanness and their desire to just run roughshod over everything and they had a lot more time to burn or something who else professor this is george george calvis george go ahead yeah i think one of the reasons too it was that um the spaniards were ma man manipulative manipulative they use their the 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 their own natives to go against their own people 
they have ways to to persuade the, the natives to do what they wanted to do. So they use like uh, man, man, manipulative ways, you know? Okay. Thank you, Professor. All right. Who else? Anybody? Can I go? Yes. Uh, this is Benjamin Burgos. Um, what I wrote is that um, the natives had a general culture of peace and they had only resorted to violence previously if um, like a neighboring tribe had like stolen their food. So when a culture of peace meets a culture of war, um, the culture of war had dominated because that wasn't really their um, instincts to fight. And additionally, um, the diseases the Europeans had brought over uh, contributed heavily to the demise of the natives because um, they didn't have the antibodies to fight against the diseases they had brought. In addition, since the natives had saw that their people were dying, they started, um, they felt depressed and they didn't feel the motivation to keep fighting. So um, the natives, I mean, not the natives, sorry. The Spanish had ultimately won. Okay. Who else? Let me say something. I agree with with all the explanations that that is, all the answers. Well, let me say something. Except the one thing. The it is uh, white. Uh, belief uh, among uh, many authors that a, a factors and probably one of the most important factors was the uh, the arms the firearm arms of the uh, the uh, Spaniards, and that's not true. That is not true. Uh, probably I will take off uh, great from because it's a very common thing that to believe that the they were more superior because of the, the the development of the. Of the uh, or their uh, weapons, technological development, and that was not the case. The uh, the the mosque, these firearms that they have that they use, is a very uh, uh, how can I put it? It's, it's very uh, slow. You, when they shoot, they shoot. And they have to, to come and claim the, the power the, 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 to, to put against the, 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 the instruments that are going to, 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 to create the, 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 the uh, bullets, uh, the cannons. Of, uh, at the, by, by the time that they uh, finish reloading again the uh, the weapons. They have at least a hundred arrows from the weapons of the natives. That was that was that that no. that is why the uh, most of the items. Uh, all, uh, most of the items uh, taken from uh, uh, Tenochtitlan and 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 and, 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 uh, and 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 other areas where they they struggle, they 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 they, they fight. Most of the items are from the weapons of the Indians, the Indians with which the uh, Cortes. And Nan Cortes uh, 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 ally himself the, in the in the in the conquest of the 
of, of the Nochtitlan, they were like uh, uh, less than, 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 than 200 Spaniards and thousands of natives who have uh, grievances with the uh, 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 with the empire, right? With the with the Aztec Empire. So that is not true. Uh, I don't believe that. Okay. Uh, who else? Who want to say something about this? Okay. Let's move on. Uh, wait, wait, what, what was that? Okay, the conquest of empires refers, of course, to what conquest? To what? To to to, to, to what empire? The Aztec and the Inca. Yes, go ahead. Um. Sorry, I just need to follow up for the question. Um, so the reason why the conquest of the empires were successful was because... No, 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 that's not the... the, the, the what? I'm, I'm sorry. That, that, that was... Uh, I'm talking about number, number three, the conquest of empire. Yeah, wasn't that of the... the okay, said, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Wait, I'm going are you asking like what were the empires or like how did the conquest occur? No, no. The, the, we already talked about number two, the why Spain succeeded in the conquest of, of the natives. The reason is uh, the, the what other uh, uh, the question is the the the, the, the conquest of, of of what two empires? What was the other empire? Let's see. The Aztec was one, right? Yeah. And the other? Was the Inca. The Incas. And they went through exactly the same thing. Yeah. Right? They they did they did what happened to the uh, to the uh, uh, Aztecs happened to 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 them with the same strategy implemented by the Spaniards of union with the, uh, 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 with the uh, natives. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, who else? The uh, number four, Spain colonies in North America. What can we say about that? Hello. Um, I could say that. Sabrina, go ahead. Um, I said that in North America, their strongest impact was in California and Texas, where many natives were enslaved in encomiendas, and that their languages and national identities were um, they they vanished because they were kept at a lower at the lowest of society, and they were labeled as indios with with an imposed, and they had like um, an imposed token ethnicity, and they could, as they were referred to as Californios and Tejanos. Okay, okay, that's good. Listen, let's let's uh, uh, speed up this process. Uh, uh, the uh, number five, the strategy strategic importance of the Philippines. The Philippines was strategic because of the uh, uh, ubication, because where, where they are between uh, uh, the, uh, the Asia and, 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 and uh, North America, it was, uh, uh, from the economic uh, uh, economic uh, reason and for uh, uh, military reason, it was situated in, in, in between the two sea, the the Atlantic and, 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 and the the, uh, uh, the the Atlantic and. 
what's the uh oh, it's gonna come later uh the uh uh, what else? The strategic importance uh, of professor? the professor. Okay. Yes. Wait. Professor? Yes. Go ahead. Hello. Hello. Yes. What do you want to say? Hello. Do you oh. hear me? Oh, sorry. I, I was muted. I'm. I'm terribly sorry. That that was on me. Um. I just wanted to say it's a. 15 just fyi sorry wait say that again um the time is 8 15 I, okay okay yeah, that's sorry. why i'm i'm, I'm speeding up the thing okay the uh, uh give me three minutes the uh the arifunas the strategic importance of the philippines it was twenty to the two c the the caribbean and the other one and then the, uh, the the other one the garif garifunas uh, are a mix of uh, uh, the Gar garifunas are a mix of na of natives with Africans natives with African these people live today in Central America the uh, the the uh, the uh, in Central America, especially in Honduras and, and, and other countries, they are they were the uh, ones of the African the, 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 the natives uh, that uh, uh, in order to survive the genocide of the of their groups, they uh, aligned themselves with the mix with, with the Africans. And gave way to it's, it's known as Garifuna. Uh, the role of the encomienda system was, of course, to, to you know that it was to uh, uh, to pass the the wealth uh, from the hands of the of the uh, 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 Indians, the natives who were there, to the hands of the of the uh, Europeans, with Spaniards. Right? Uh, the role of Bartolomé de las Casas, the, the, the uh, same, same, the Spanish peasants and the reunification of Spain. The, the, the unification of Spain gave way to a, a conditions of the, of the, of the peasant that was uh, for a few uh, years uh, worse, worsen, right? and allowed. Uh, even though it allowed the uh, the, uh, the the some of the of the, of the peasants to participate in the uh, in, in in the in the, in the sharing of the of the uh, uh, of the of, of the, uh, the sharing of the of the wealth. A few of, the, of them uh, uh, evolved into a uh, working class, and we are uh, in, in the sense of the uh, development of the of the uh, of the, uh, the capitalist uh, commercial capitalism development. Okay, the. Uh, the, the role of Bartolomé de las Casas, Bartolomé de las Casas was a priest sent uh, 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 through encomienda to the uh, New World, but he became the defenders of the, uh, uh, of the natives. They were against the enslavement of natives and uh, he, uh, uh, he uh, wrote a letter to to the queen saying uh, that uh, these people cannot work; they cannot put to work uh, in, this, in 
become slaves because they, they are not used to this. And I suggest being Africans. And later in his life, he's, if we get, how do you say, it was, uh, say, he said that he made a mistake when he did. He said that. Uh, and Nando Cortes and Francisco Pizarro were, of course, Nando Cortes, who con conquered uh, the Aztec Empire, and Pizarro, that who conquered the, uh, 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 the conquest, the, 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 uh, the Incas uh, Empire. Okay, Hernandez, colonial domination, difference between acculturation and assimilation, we went through that, right? We went through that the last time we met. Uh, who were the mulatos and mestizos? The mulatos were uh, the mix of, of uh, uh, African descendants and uh, the, the African descendants and Europeans, right? The uh, mestizos were Europeans and uh, natives, Indians. Number three, the hierarchical layers of the caste system. Uh, we discussed that also. The, the caste system uh, and in, in Latin America have the peninsulares atop, uh, below them the criollos, below the criollo, the mix, mestizos and, and uh, mestizos and, and uh, the others that I just men uh, mentioned, uh, uh, mestizos and mulatos, right? And, 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 the, uh, uh, and then come the pure races, the pure races, uh, that means natives and, and Africans. In the Philippines, is uh, somehow uh, they add two two uh, members of the of the caste system. They have we have the peninsulares at the top, the peninsulares, uh, 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 the Españoles, Filipinos, that is Sp Sp Spanish, born in the Philippines, the criollos, what we call criollos. In, and the, and third, the principalias, and this is where the difference come. They add to the two uh, 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 segment, so to speak, to to the Philippines. In the Philippines, the the principalias were uh, under the uh, the came uh, next. Uh, under the, uh, the, the, the Espanoles, Filipinos, uh, because they were, as the name said, Principalia, they were leaders of the, of the, uh, of the communities in, in the Philippines. And the, the uh, he or they, the, the Principalia, uh, were effective, more effective because the people re re, uh, respect them. They were more, uh, more uh, uh, easily uh, uh, able to control the, uh, the, uh, the the people to get the people to do what they what they what, what they want the Spaniards want they, they to do if, if they have their their principalias uh, 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 on, the, on their side right it was it was easier to maintain a, to maintain the, 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 the domination okay the sangleyes were a, a, a group in the Philippines that came from uh, China and stayed in the Philippines. And they were given a better uh, uh, position after the, uh, the Principalias because they were 
they come from China, uh, a millenarian uh, culture in, in the new agriculture or the new uh, uh, many things that was uh, uh, needed by the, uh, the, the, the Spaniards. Uh, 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 the Spaniards. And then uh, we have the, the mestizo, uh, uh, who were uh, mestizos Filipinos, Filipino mixes, right? And then at the bottom, the pure Indios, Indios puros, right? or pure Indians as uh, happened with the, the pure race of the, uh, you know, of, the, the, that the system took place in, in Latin America. Okay, is there anything you want to say, you want to ask? Okay, I'm going to send you, I mean, we are going to, to we are going to have the exam on Monday. If everybody has the story guy, we are okay. Okay. Any, any comments? Okay. Thank Let's you, start. Professor. Thank you. All right. Good night. Take care. Okay. Good night, Professor.